Metro file time is fun time. And if you want that experience, then hop on this ride as you'll be spending 30 minutes seeing all the lovely sights and sounds of events that happened during the week. I am Anne Wawado. But first, let me give you a feel of what I have lined up for you on the show today. <laughs> We begin in the nation's capital, Abuja, to experience the dinner organized by the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, Nigeria branch. The 30th anniversary of Levante's foundation is marked in Lagos. The governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, visits the owner of Ife Obadeye Guwusi and his beautiful wife. All right, so now you know my lineup for this edition, but while you enjoy it, please watch out for flash photography. Once again, welcome to this edition of Metrophile. Let's begin in the nation's capital, Abuja, with a dinner organized by the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, Nigeria branch. After a conference, members had a good, good time dining and whining. It was also an opportunity to induct new members. <laughs> It's an evening to dine and wine. At the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators Nigeria branch 2018 annual gala night after a successful annual conference. The Chartered Institute of Arbitrators is a Nigeria branch of an international center for excellence, which is a not-for-profit organization with over 15,000 members across 133 countries. established for the practice and support of the global promotion, facilitation and development of all alternate dispute resolution methods. To wonder, individuals from different professions are eager to join the organization. Today, many of these individuals are formally inducted into the membership of the institute. As they are reminded the role they play in the society, they take an oath. To comply with the constitution, the bylaws, and code of conduct and ethics, and other regulations that the executive committee of the branch may act, as well as dedicate myself to the service of society by upholding the dignity and the integrity of the profession of education to the best of my ability. So let me go. I formally induct you into the fellowship class. 
of the Tata Institute of Agriculture. that it's a very important domestic arbitration, a national arbitration institute. The, um, the work that goes into becoming an associate is a lot of work, more for a member and a huge amount of work to become a fellow. And you're joining an organisation that has standards, that's maintaining these standards. They've been inducted into a very reputable organisation, an organisation that's known worldwide, is reputed worldwide, the designatory initials that they can now use after their name are internationally accepted state statements of excellence. So they must make sure they uphold the standards of the Institute. As you know, not only lawyers are arbitrators. You have other professions, engineers, quantity surveyors and all. All industries must seek the good of the Institute at all times and they must seek the progress of the Institute at all times. Once they do this, it means that references is assured for them and they will prosper. The Chartered Institute of Arbitrators works for public interests through an international network of branches. For over 100 years, it has played a pivotal role in the training of practitioners in arbitration. In its quest to promote the practice of arbitration, the Nigeria branch holds an annual conference and gala night, which brings together arbitrators, practitioners, members of the judiciary and academics, as well as many important stakeholders within the continent and beyond. As they contribute to seek better ways of helping people resolve issues and making peace around the world, we wish them more years of making positive impact in the industry in Nigeria and across the globe. We say congratulations to all the new members of the CIARB.